Good afternoon, students. You are once again welcome to Dr. OJ's tutorial class. In this uh, video lecture, we shall be looking at some examples on the domain of a function, the range, the composition of a function, and how to sketch a function. Let's look at the example. Example. The first example here is given. F is a function that takes all set of real numbers to real numbers. That is F is a real value function. And G is also a real value function. It's also a real value function. These two functions are defined by, they are defined by f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 2x plus 7. And um, g is equal to 3x plus 2. So the question says find 1 in Roman figure f of g. That is f composition g. That's the composition function. 2. g of f. g composition f. 3. g inverse. g inverse. And 4. g inverse. And 4. g inverse composition f. g inverse of f. If it exists. If it exists, that is the question. Now the next question there. Let's let's write them together at once. Given a function, given a function, y is equal to, you know, two into x plus one minus three, the absolute value of three x minus two. You know, find 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 the domain. Find the domain of find the domain of f. That's the first question. Two. The range of f. The range of f. The range of f. And uh, three. We are asked to sketch the function. Sketch the function. We are asked to sketch the function. Okay? These are brackets, not absolute value. That's a mistake from the question. You can equally solve it if you want to use absolute value anyway. These are brackets. So, now, how do we solve this? That's the next thing that we're going to ask ourselves. How do we solve this? Okay? Now, let's start with the first one. Let's start with the first question. Let's solve the first question here and later we move to the second question. Let's solve the first question and later we move to the what? The second question. Okay. Now the solution. Solution. The two values given here are functions of set of real numbers. So f of x is this and g of x is this. According to this. This is g of x. g of x. g of x. Okay. Now, to find f of g, that is f composition g, just see what it simply means is this it implies that f of g is simply as f of g of x. That is, you insert the function g of x into f. And how do we do that? Now, you know, f itself is 3x squared minus 2x plus 7. For, that means 3x squared minus 2x plus 7 is your f. So you now put g of x inside. That implies that wherever you see x you replace that value by 3x plus 2 that's what it means you know the function f itself is 3x squared minus 2x plus 7 and g of x inside f means you 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 know you you impose or you input you put g of x into that is putting x to be what you have as g of x here so that means 3 into 3x plus 2 squared minus 2 into 3x plus 2, then plus 7. So, that implies, that implies 3 into, you expand 3x plus 2. 3x plus 2 into 3x plus 2. 
So you can factor this out so that you don't get uh, it wrong. Then minus, now you expand this, 2 times this, that is 6x, that is 2 times 3x, minus 6x, minus 2 times 2, that is minus 4, then plus 7. Remember, this minus 2 does not uh, get to 7. Okay, it's only used to expand uh, 3x plus 2. So, this is going to be what? 3 into, by the time you expand this, let's let's do it, let's do it easily. Let's do it one by one. 3x times 3, that's 9x squared. Then 3x times a plus 2, plus 6x. Plus 2 times 3x, plus 6x. Plus 2 times plus 2, that's plus 4. Close the bracket. Then minus 6x, minus 4, plus 7, that's plus 3. Okay, so let's, let's finish it here. So we have what? 3 into 3 into 9x squared. Then plus 6x plus 6x plus 12x. Then plus 4. Then minus what? Minus 6x plus 3. So that would be what? You are now expand. That's 27x squared. That's 3 times 9x squared is 27x squared. Then plus 3 times uh, plus 12x plus 36x. Plus 3 times plus 4, that's plus 12. Then minus 6x plus 3. So now collect like terms. Okay? 27x squared plus 36x minus 6x. Then plus 12 plus 3. That's what? 27x squared. Then uh, plus 36x minus uh, 6x. That's plus 30x. Then plus 12 plus 3. That's plus 15. So that's the value of uh, f of g. That is, the first question has been solved. Now, how do we go about the second one? Just as we have done for the first one, we do the same for the second one. Just follow the steps. Now, the second one is what? g of f. g of f implies g of f of x. Okay? Now, put f of x inside g. Now, this is your g. Wherever you see x in this g of x now, put f of x there. So, 3 into, you know, g of x is g 3x plus 2. So, instead of x now, you put f of x there. 3x squared minus 2x plus 7. Then, that is closed because 3x is done. We have done this now. The remaining plus 2. Okay? So, you now expand. 3 times uh, 3x squared. That's 9x squared. 3 times minus, that's minus 6x, 3 times uh, plus 7, that's plus 21, then plus 2. Okay? Yes. So you have anything to collect, like times there, yeah. 9x squared minus 6x plus 21 plus 2. That's what? Plus 23. So that solves that problem too. Now the next one, number 3. How do we solve number 3? Let's look at that. Number 3 is a G inverse. Number 3. Okay. G inverse. What is our G? Our G is a G of X is equal to 3X plus 2. Fine. So, we can replace G of X by Y. Okay. Let G of X equals to Y. Because Y will now be the range of the function. So, which is going to be what? 3X plus 2. Now, what we now, the next thing we now need to do here is to find the value of x. We are going to find the value of our domain. So, to get x here, that is, bring y minus 3x is equal to 2. Okay? Or better still, you can retain it. Uh, okay? Let's, let's do it this way so that it will it, be easier and faster. y minus 2 equals to 3x. I think that is better. Yes. Now, to get x here, now we have to divide both sides by 3. So, as to get x here, y minus 2 over 3 is equal to x. So, we have gotten our x now. Now, for us to get the g inverse, which is like g inverse, you know, it just was, it just swap. We swap the value of x for y. That's all. So, g inverse of x now will be ob obtained when you swap this value of x. That is, you swap x for y. So, now, x minus 2 all over 3. So that's g inverse. Right. As simple as that. It's as simple as that. Now, the next or the last one here, 
to find the what? D inverse of f. Fine. D inverse of f. We have gotten D inverse of x to the base now. So D inverse composition f now just imply D inverse uh, of f of x. Okay? Now this putting f of x inside D inverse. You know, our D inverse is what? x minus 2 all over 3. Now putting f of x inside it. So where means that means whenever you see x in D inverse, you replace it by f of x. So that would what? 3x squared minus 2x plus 7, you know, minus 2, minus 2, okay, all over 3. Yes. So that implies we can have what? 3x squared mm -hmm, minus 2x plus 5 all over 3. So that solves the problem. So that solves the problem. So I don't want this video to be too long. So in the second video, we shall solve the second question. That is question uh, B. Uh, stay blessed.